We are glad to have you back on the God's Light channel. The year 2024 is more than just another year on the calendar. We are on the brink of significant events that have been foretold for millennia. In this video, we will explore four prophecies believed to be unfolding in 2024. These prophecies carry a profound and meaningful message, a divine warning. They indicate four critical events that could begin to unfold and revered saints in the entire history of the world. Known for his countless miracles and exceptional gifts and charisms that distinguished him during his ministry, Father Pio has been a figure of great spiritual importance for believers worldwide. Among his most extraordinary gifts were the ability to see apparitions of angels, demons, demons, deceased people, visions of the Virgin Mary, and Jesus Christ. He also possessed charisms such as clairvoyance, healing of diseases through prayer, levitation, xenoglossia, and bilocation, and meaning the ability to be simultaneously in two different places. We will explore a revelation of Jesus to Father Pio regarding the end times. This message gives a turbulent and dangerous expectation for 2024. Welcome back to our channel. Make sure to watch this video to the end because we have something special prepared for you. First prophecy, the global union. We begin with a passage from the book of Revelation chapter 13, which reads, And I saw a beast rising out of the sea with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems on its horns and blasphemous names on its head. It was given authority to act for 42 months. It opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God, blaspheming his name and his dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. And it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. And authority was given it over every tribe and people and language and nation. Many have heard of the concept of the New World Order, often discussed in religious settings. In Revelation chapter 13, a beast rising from the sea with ten horns and seven heads, each with a blasphemous name, is often associated with the idea of the New World Order. Although this concept may seem like a distant and even fantastical religious theme, the reality could be closer than we think. The New World Order is more than a religious concept, it's a potential reality that could affect various aspects of our lives. It suggests an international political reorganization under a single and universal constitution led by a unique regime and leader. In 2024, this concept of global governance is expected to gain momentum. Organizations have compared the world to a rebellious child in need of responsible adult supervision. This implies the need for a united and responsible leadership for all. We have recently witnessed an increase in international political and economic alliances that could lead to the formation of a single global leadership. According to some beliefs, this aligns with the biblical prophecy of a global authority described in Revelation. The idea of a world under one leader is considered a prelude to more significant events and eschatological beliefs. For example, the BRICS group, consisting of Brazil, Russia, India, and India. China and South Africa has strengthened its cooperation for development. The relationship between these nations is strengthening, and in 2024, it is expected to become even more prominent. Some members of this group are advocating for the creation of a single currency that will facilitate trade among these nations. This is just one example of the unity that is paving the way for the prophecy of Revelation chapter 13, where a leader will exercise authority over all nations, and that leader is the Antichrist. So when you see countries uniting with the goal of development, remember that it might not be a mere coincidence, but rather the manifestation of prophecies written thousands of years ago. Second prophecy, technological advancements. We now turn our attention to another passage in Revelation chapter 13, which provides insights into the role of technology in the end times. It causes all, both small and great, both rich and poor, and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark, that is, the name of the beast or the number of its name. Technology is advancing rapidly, and in 2024, we can expect even more incredible innovations. Just 60 years ago, many of the technologies we now consider essential were unimaginable. This rapid technological evolution can be seen as a sign of the fulfillment of biblical prophecies about the end times and the return of Jesus. One of the most advanced technologies today is surveillance systems that record our every move. 
For example, a smartphone application connected to a car can track every journey, recording every visited location, stops at gas stations, restaurants visited, and even toll expenses. This level of surveillance and personal data collection demonstrates how far technology has advanced in monitoring and recording personal information. Similarly, financial transactions are becoming increasingly digital, with payments made via credit cards and apps reducing the use of cash. This level of surveillance science and personal data collection demonstrates how far technology has advanced in monitoring and recording personal information. These technological advancements align with the biblical prophecy of the mark of the beast mentioned in Revelation. According to the prophecy, only those who have this mark will be able to buy and sell. The monitoring and financial control capabilities of current technology can be seen as a preparation for this prophetic reality. The Apostle John, speaking of the mark of the beast, talked about a global system that will control access to economic resources. Therefore, the growth of digital technology and its role in modern society can be interpreted as signs of the end times, indicating the approach of the events described in the Bible. Furthermore, in 2025, there are plans to develop a superior artificial intelligence with extraordinary capabilities, including world domination and conducting wars. Researchers at the Future of Humanity Institute, affiliated with the University of Oxford in the United Kingdom, have intelligences that could create other machines. This could lead humanity to lose control over these superintelligences. Many believe that this could be the role of the Antichrist developing these superintelligences to control the world. Although it may seem sensationalistic, the seriousness of the situation should not be underestimated. The Bible indicates that Satan, who is wiser than humans, could influence the scientific community to bring these technologies into reality sooner than we imagine. This interpretation of technological advancements in artificial intelligence aligns with biblical prophecies about the role of the Antichrist and Satan's influence on human development. Before we continue, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe now and also activate the bell. Now we explore the concept of apostasy which refers to the abandonment of faith. In his second letter to the Thessalonians, the Apostle Paul prophesied about the coming of Jesus and warned about apostasy, describing a massive departure from the teachings of God. This is something we can observe happening today. Many people who once identified as Christians and actively participated in worship, missions, and preaching are moving away from their beliefs and values. This trend seems to be increasing with many former Christians seeking worldly pleasures and indulgences and deviating from the path of Christ. This is not just a matter of individual faith. It's a broader phenomenon that reflects Paul's prophecy about apostasy. It highlights the importance of not being deceived by false doctrines. This movement of apostasy serves as a warning that the end times may be closer than we think and that Christians must firmly adhere to their principles and convictions, resisting temptations and deviations. It's a warning for believers to remain vigilant and prepared for the spiritual challenges of modern times. Moreover, we have seen churches becoming increasingly permissive, adopting practices that are not in line with their original doctrines. As a result, many people of faith are leaving these congregations, claiming to be Christian but not following the Bible. This change indicates that people are moving away from what is sacred and righteous, embracing sin and a lack of holiness. Fourth prophecy, moral decay finally. We examine the decay of morality and the changing societal values at the end of times. The moral decay and changes in human behavior are increasing. People are betraying one another, parents are harming their children, and children are rebelling against their parents. This decay of moral values is not limited to individual faith, but extends to broader social behaviors. As the days progress, it becomes even more critical for people to strengthen their relationship with God. This is a time to reflect on hidden sins that might be concealed from spouses, families, or fellow believers, and to renounce these sins. Sin may promise freedom, but in the end it enslaves. As the days pass, we must remain vigilant and aware. So as we look towards 2024, we must consider how these events connect and are part of the prophetic timeline. Nothing happens in isolation. Every war, alliance, and war 
and disagreement is part of God's plan, everything follows the plan that the Lord has laid out. 2024 could be more than just another year. It could mark the beginning of significant events outlined in biblical prophecies, the global union technological advancements, apostasy and moral decay all serve as signs of the times. As we move forward, let's remain vigilant, maintain our faith, and resist the temptations and distractions of the world. Remember that these events are interconnected, forming a puzzle of end-time prophecies.